Inverse Jim Cramer, is it always a winning strategy? We're gonna look into this today, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, we'll cover that too. Let's start at the beginning real quickly. Jim Cramer is what you would call a celebrity investor, and he's the host of CNBC's Mad Money. Now, he is also, of course, a former hedge fund manager, so he has a career in money. There's no denying that. However, one thing people have noticed as we go further along this course of his shows and his opinions is that he's often wrong in an incredible way. We're talking like the exact opposite things happen from what he says you should do. So, of course, that's the trend. Is this true? Well, we're going to look at the examples. We're going to see what's actually been happening, especially as of late. But it is something that I've found in the last few years as I'm browsing all sorts of different articles and Reddit posts and whatnot, that there is a lot of correlation to the fact that if you do the opposite of what he says in many situations, you're going to come out on top by a big, big ratio. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these examples. First, let's actually start with a little bit of proof of how big this has gotten. John Oliver, which is the host of an HBO comedy slash news show, even has referenced how this works. He said on a show that Jim Cramer is probably the only person who can tell you you're gonna die tomorrow and you can now feel an immediate sense of calm knowing that you're gonna live at least another 50 years. So that is how big this idea of inverse Jim Cramer has gotten. So we will get into some more real in-depth data behind all of this, but first let's start with some individual examples so you can get a taste for what's been happening. So on May 9th, 2023, Jim Cramer recommends Home Depot saying it could be a win right now a week later, Home Depot posts their worst revenue miss in the last 20 years, the stock falls. Okay, that's one example. We can even take a look at other places in the space like cryptocurrency. We both have a stock and the actual assets themselves like Bitcoin and Ethereum. For this one, we've got we like Coinbase to 475. It eventually crashes down to, it's so low on the chart, I can barely read it, $73 after he tweets that. And then over the course of the next couple years, it has had some ups and downs, but has been trending down pretty consistently overall, hitting a massive low point. In January, he said that you need to get out of Bitcoin. It's basically the end. The road is done for Bitcoin, and it's up 75% since that point. Now, that was 143 days ago. It's only gone up a massive amount since. It's multiple hundred percent at this point. Oh, don't worry, there's plenty more. Disney, pay 98 if you can. That will be nothing versus where it goes. Weeks later, it's already been crashing down. Since then, it has had a rough road and it is certainly not above 98 at that point. And one more, we've got an entire graph here for where he recommends PayPal. He's recommending it all the way through, all the way to the top, even as it's coming down he's still recommending it but basically at its lowest point in a number of years he now is all of a sudden I don't want to own the stock he's done with it so this is kind of where people are getting this idea from that if you inverse Jim Cramer you're gonna have a good time because so many of his predictions look like this and they really don't pan out too well I do want to say thank you to the sponsor of today's video which is dossier Dossier reproduces classic high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same high quality by cutting out all the expenses in the brand tax. All scents are $59 or less, while designer scents range from $50 up to $280 in retail. Woody Tobacco is my newest addition, and it's inspired by Replica Jazz Club, which usually costs $135. The scent is described as a cigar dipped in honey. There are free exchanges and returns forever. Dossier has a welcome offer with up to 20% off the website. However, you can get up to 30% off your first order by using the discount link in the description of my video. Dossier has a new payment method that lets you earn store credit. Select cash at the last step of the checkout and you can earn yourself a $10 bonus credit and even get rewarded with 10% store credit on every order after that. Now, of course you might be thinking, one, he's probably recommending tons of stocks, right? Tons of different picks on his show. These are the bad apples. Okay, we'll look at that. And you could also be thinking, well, hold on. These things go up and down a lot, right? PayPal could still come good, all these different things, right? Well, of course, that may be true. We can't look 10 years into the future. We can only look at the last few years, and we have a lot of these examples. Uh, but yes, you're right, things go up and down. But unfortunately, a lot of his picks have remained down, at least for far too long, and the outlook doesn't look too great. But that's true, maybe it pans out. So all we can do is look at the data that we have, and there is some interesting stuff. There is actually an inverse Jim Cramer ETF, meaning that, it does exactly that. It wants to take all of the things he says and do the opposite of. 
and that's actually going to be a physical proof across basically everything that he's saying, right? Now, this one is from June 3rd, 2022. Of course, this is a little while ago, but I want to point out that the inverse Jim Cramer ETF is still beating the S&P 500 index by nearly 7%. So that means not only is he doing worse than that, the S&P 500 in itself is still losing to the inverse Jim Cramer ETF by 7%. So that says a lot in itself, right? The whole market is losing to the inverse Jim Cramer ETF. That means there's some value behind this. And some things that were said by the creator of this ETF, he says that shorting Jim Cramer is the way of betting against that one friend everyone has who is confidently wrong when it comes to investing. It's the type of thing that you just hear over and over and you go, let's see how that pans out. But this is actually him taking action I want to test that theory. He says that one of the things that he noticed throughout the years is the consensus that is almost always wrong. And Kramer is the consensus on steroids because he has no choice but to swing at every pitch. And it even goes further as well. These are some examples here where he was meeting with Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes. He was also hyping up Sam from FTX. And as you can see here, well, from the articles on the right, those didn't pan out too well, as we all know. But now what we need to do is look at an in-depth article that was done as some research by someone on Reddit, uh, posting all of the links and all of the information that you can verify for yourself. And basically what he found is that it only makes sense to listen to Kramer if you're a day trader or an algo trader who is trading a large variety of stocks over a short period of time, because he is basically pumping up the market. That's what he does best. If you're trading on the short term, like a one day gain type of thing, you actually do come out on top. He does have some sort of voice, you know, and whether it's luck, we're not really able to determine, but there is a reality that exists that in the short term, that one day period, you actually can make gains. However, of course, as we saw with the ETF earlier, over time for everything else, just sticking to the S&P 500 would actually give you better returns than the things he recommends. So that's a simple fact. Most people aren't able to beat the market. And what that means is investing in something like an index fund where you get a ton of companies all in one to balance all of your odds out. And that's usually the best formula. Now, not only is that better than investing just on Jim Cramer's advice, it also means that the phrase inverse Jim Cramer actually can pay off in the long run and has done so throughout the years at different points with that ETF as well. So with that being said, that's a little bit of the history behind inverse Jim Cramer, why it came to be, why it's become a meme in the financial community. So if you guys do want to hear about anything else, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with more financial tech and money news and drop a like. I would much appreciate it. Let me know, how have you been doing? Have you tried to inverse Jim Cramer at any point? That might be a little series I have to do. We might have to play with this idea ourselves live and see the results. So let me know if you wanna see that. Other than that, thank you to Dossier for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching.